All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to go over the profit triggers, and I'm going to try to be as fast as possible because I already made another video where it, I explain a little bit more of them, but we're going to go a little faster on this one. Uh, you're going to want to, if you're new, disabled software, you know, click here to disable them, and it needs to, it needs to be gray to disable. Uh, do the same thing for others. I suggest you do the same thing for VHS and for the CD, video games, and DVDs. Uh, if you do them, then, you know, keep them as is, I guess. But I don't have the triggers for those set. For the books, uh, I personally don't use this or to tell me the triggers for this just because I don't know the actual, you know, the numbers for this together. So I just leave this blank so that it doesn't tell me. It, it Basically, the triggers are only going to use my the sales rank for me. Uh, if you want to have this enabled, go ahead. It doesn't, it, well, it shouldn't matter too much, but it, it does if you want to go a little, like, find it a little bit better, you know? But I don't want it to be, be that, like, tuned in. Uh, So we're going to use, for me, we're going to use the sales rank. So I do 1 through 500,000. I do the average rank. I click yes. Uh, For number 2 here, I don't use anything. Uh, For number 3.1, the FBA offers, I use number 2. Just because sometimes a lot of the times number one is a guy who decided to jump in and put their price too low. So I want to I want this program to be like, hey, you know, look at number two instead of number one. And of course, if number two is not available, then it would do it would choose number two. All right. So don't. Yeah. So it would actually choose number one if there's no number two. And the same thing for these. Uh, ignore new FBA offers. Click on no. For this, I use the last one just because a lot of the times uh, there is no FBA offer. And uh, sometimes it's like this would uh, FBA uh, used offer would be like six, seven. This would be like nine, 10, 15. And, you know, so on, so on until you get to the lowest 20. It would be like a $20 book. So, of course, you want to that tells you that tells uh, at least that tells me that the book has potential to sell higher. And that there's ch the chances are that there's no FBA actually, you know. Uh, and then for number three point three here, you for the used, I I uh, for the new, I would say do number two again. This one you won't use it as much, but there are some books where there's no used offer, and then there's no like FBA offer kinda, and there's only new, and a lot of times that book can still sell for. If there's no use, that means that, you know, you can you, you can be the first one to put it as used and pretty get a good price for them. Uh, number four, I suggest putting when used buy box price is higher. Again, this is where people who have the buy box. Uh, a lot of the times the new people don't have the buy box, so they'll they won't get it. They'll price it really, really low thinking that they'll get the buy box. But sometimes they won't just because they're still too new. And if you are, have you been doing it for a while? Maybe you are still new too. I still suggest you use that one because one day you will get the buy box. And I suggest you start getting books with, you know, with in mind that you will get the buy box here, 10% to based off the price. If if you do click on new buy box, I, you know, suggest 10% off of it. You don't want to price match it because then nobody's going to want to buy it. You know, nobody's going to want it. Why would they buy a used thing when they can buy it new? Uh, I mean, sometimes it happens, but not that much. You know? uh, the minimum target profit, how much you want to make for this trigger. I put uh, basically five bucks, but I decided to go ten dollars, ten cents more because sometimes, sometimes it's like uh, the the trigger or the profit thing over here. It would show up at like four ninety nine. And, you know, it's only one penny less from the five dollars. So I just decided to do this. Uh, let me see. Uh, merch FBA, of course. And here you can customize it, whatever you want to say or whatever colors you want or, you know, the sound. I just put message if you want to put your own little message up to you. And now triggers number from one through ten or I think nine I have. Uh, they're about the same thing, so I'm just gonna go through them. You can you can pause the video if you want to like copy them. All right, so there's trigger number two. The you know the triggers are, or the sales rank is gonna go a little higher, and the plus the target pro profit. Here's number three. Number four. Number five. 
number six. Number seven. Number eight. And the eight is actually the last one. You can do number nine if you really want to, but I just put it at number nine, eight. I mean, and I used for that one, I used uh, to evaluate number one, number one, precision number one, and 20% off of in case Amazon's selling it or the, there's another guy selling that use. Uh, the profit, I want it to be like basically uh, 50 bucks, or I guess in this case it's 49 for um, five mil and higher. All right. And that's pretty much it, honestly. My triggers are pretty loose. I would call these like loose triggers uh, or loosely triggers just because I know that sometimes some books. Uh, let me see here. Sometimes the reason why I lo I put my triggers a little loose is because I, w I want to be the, f the last person to say whether or not I'm going to get the book. You know, of course, just because this thing shows up green doesn't mean you're going to buy it. Right. Or at least hopefully not. Or hopefully, yeah, if you set your triggers really, really good. But I, from for the time I've been doing this, I can never get the triggers to be perfect. No matter what I do, I I change one little thing, and somehow that little thing changes up some other thing. And then let's just say you can never really fine tune this for some reason. Uh, no matter what I try, what triggers, sometimes I one book will say accept, and then another book that I would actually take would say you reject. Then I would change the triggers to say for that one other book that said reject to say accept now. But then when I scan another book that I would have said that normally would be accept, now it says reject. It's kind of one of those things where you're, con you're constantly fine tuning your triggers that at the end you'll be like, you know what? I'm just going to set my triggers to be a little loose and I'll be the last guy to, t to say whether or not just take the book, you know? So I suggest you actually learn how to read all this. It's not that hard, you know, tr profit, of course, simple. Uh, Average sales rank and sales rank should be pretty simple now. This, because of this and this together, now it's like way more simple. You know, the lower the number of this, the the worse chance of your your book selling. You know, this is not bad. This is what, like three books in a month or three books a month it sells about. Or from, from the past uh, history. So about three months, three books a month it sells around. You know, the higher the, the number, the better, the higher chance of your book selling. And you have this little graph if you want to get more into it. All right. And that's it for my profit triggers. All right. See you guys.